Hey, I'm Israel Matson. Really excited to show you the culmination of a year and a half of work. This is our 1967 Airstream Sovereign we've called the Dreamlander. The first thing you'll notice is the patina. This looks like a 1967 Airstream that's seen a lot of sun and a lot of adventures. It has all the sunburn and peeling clear coat all that beautiful stuff. Now everything else about this Airstream is brand new and we took the shell off and started with the frame. The frame we spent a lot of time on. What rust was there was removed, it was painted, any corrections that needed to be made were made, any reinforcements needed was given. The frame was done really well. Starting here at the front of the Airstream and working to the back, you'll see that we really focused on safety and so the towing experience has been tested and proven now with brand new chains, with brand new electrical all through the airstream including this new pigtail seven-way pin all new wiring running back to the frame you'll see here we have an lp gas system that's also been completely redone with brand new 30 gallon tanks for 60 gallon and a heavy duty regulator going from there we have this rock guard that's been completely built especially for our airstream with quarter inch tinted lexan gives you some shade in the summer some insulation for heat and ac easily opens up and the cool part about this is just by popping off these gas struts this whole thing will slide right off and you can completely remove it up at top you'll see we have new led lights everywhere and we have a new antenna for the stereo and our water inlet for our water tank has also been refurbished coming around you're going to see new porch light here along with new leds underneath we have new jacks front and back. They're not as needed up here at the front, but they do give some stabilization. We have a new spare tire. We have all the belly pan has been completely redone. You'll see here, along with new copper gas line all the way down. Every appliance, all new copper gas lines. Okay, you're gonna see here a brand new piece of aluminum. When we picked it up, some of the aluminum at the bottom was creased a little, so where needed, we put new aluminum to allow it to fold under nicely. Now, every single rivet, every single seam has been sealed from the outside, but also from the inside as we did this build. There was both sides of each rib, every side of each window frame, every panel lap and every rivet was very carefully coked, sealed using various products. Coming over to the door, you can see we've got a new door plunger installed, which will hold your door open for you if you need it open. We have the original Bargman door handle that's been completely serviced by a professional Bargman door restorer. Coming here, we've got a working exterior storage option, new plug for the outside. We've got brand new Heartland tires on all four, five tires counting the spare with new baby moons. The original steel wheels were in great shape, so we just cleaned them up and painted them. And then we have brand new Gabriel shocks, which are used by Airstream today, and brand new axles by Dexter. Dexter also manufactures the, Air, the axles Airstream uses now. So those each have a 3,500 pound towing capacity, and our Airstream, weighed at a cat scale, is 6,200 pounds dry. Okay, coming here we have our city water inlet, another external storage option, all working with new gaskets. We have solar panel plugs, an isolated electrical system plug, and then our 50 amp hookup. This Airstream is fully built to 50 amps. Coming here, we've got what we call storm latches. So we went with Lexan windows on all the side windows that are curved. These are frameless as Airstream did originally for these models, making them pretty unique. So we kind of kept that. They obviously do not make a new tempered glass for it, so this is your best option. Lexan is extremely durable and very high clarity and will last a long time before that needs to be changed out. So we added these latches, however, so that when you're towing, it can't flap around. Now going to the roof, starting from the front to the back, we've got new Max Air fans, front and back. These are the deluxe model, remote controlled with all of the settings you can imagine. And then we have a Maxim Skylight rated to like a category three hurricane or something. They're made in Texas. They're tinted, triple layered, awesome. We have our Dometic Penguin 2 high capacity AC unit, the low profiles, obviously. And then two Renogy solar panels. The solar system is fully working. Here we have a brand new Dometic Atwood six gallon water heater 
and coming around to the back. We spent a lot of time at the back of this Airstream um, really focusing on the waterproofing because this is where a lot of the leaks happen. Starting right here at the top of this windowsill, we've added a rain gutter. Coming down, it's all got new gaskets like all the windows. The windowsill we've actually reinforced with new aluminum because it had rotted so much back here originally that it really needed a major overhaul. Of course, everything has been sealed. We have brand new taillights, brand new reflectors, brand new reverse lights, a brand new license plate light, and we have fully redone the external storage compartment, the rear bumper storage, whatever you want to call it. It has stainless steel hinges, lockable latch, and there's, you could see your wastewater tank, 33 gallon wastewater with all Volterra parts accessed there by this panel. Okay, we have our two low profile rear jack stands. Really important to have those. The new LED lights up there at the top. And coming around, we have blanked off as we did with the rear one, this external storage. So that's, there's no storage there. It's fully sealed, waterproofed, and made structural with aluminum riveted across it. You can see our brand new suburban furnace exhaust intake new vents across the top, and that pretty much wraps up what you'll see from the exterior of our Airstream. So of course, I just wanted to cover the three things we really focused on the most with this Airstream. The first one was safety, both safety in towing, but also safety in staying in it and storing it. So electrical, all redone with 310 copper, got rid of the dangerous aluminum wiring that was in there originally. Um, and then with the new frame, details added for structural integrity and the new tires and new shocks and axles this thing has really proven itself on the road it tows like a dream our little 1500 chevy tows this thing easy we also focused on longevity we want this airstream to easily go another 50 years before any maintenance is really needed to it outside of the obvious we actually hope it goes even longer we hope this is the final restoration this baby will need and so in all of our sourcing for all of our materials, our approach to everything, we took the long route, we took the laborious route, but we really did it right. And finally, we focus on luxury. So as you can see, we went with what was considered or what is considered the top brands and manufacturers for everything and spared no expense on this build. It's really one of a kind, that original patina. She's just starting to look good and we cannot wait to see her continue to go through the rest of her long life. So we've gone over the exterior and now we're gonna to go to the interior. But before we do, I just wanted to touch on something you've probably seen on the ad. We built this to be four seasonal. We actually bought and started building this to live in ourselves. That was the goal, that's how we built it. So being as that is, we really went overboard on a lot of features that we'll kind of explain, such as the fact that Airstreams give you about two inches of width between this outer, pen, outer skin and inner shell. And so how do you insulate that for a four seasonal living? We went with Tiger Foam closed cell spray foam, which has an R value of about seven per inch. So we've got about an inch and a half to two inches. Well, not quite two inches, but somewhere in that range, depending on you know how it was applied throughout the Airstream with another layer of Reflectix, giving a couple more R value points. So super duper insulated. And then for the Lexan windows, which is where you'd lose a lot of your heat and insulation, we've installed insulating blinds. Okay, as we've mentioned before, all the cranks, all the hardware, it's all refurbished or brand new, whatever was needed throughout all the windows. Every single window in this Airstream is perfectly functional as new. Now, starting at the front and then working our way to the back. Well, the first thing you'll notice is the original aluminum skins on the interior, and they've got that classic texture, almost like a linen vinyl texture. So these were all sanitized, clean, prepped, and painted. We got rid of the clumsy shelf, cabinetry, whatever that is in the front of these, and replaced it with a nice solid aluminum. Okay, starting at the front, we have what you can see here. It's a real luxury velvet chenet by Latimer Alexander in the color saddle, and that's a four inch thick cushions with another cushion for this slide out bed that's also hand wood burned by me. We have another cushion for it in here. So you take this cushion and these right here, these are 
reflectors that go in these windows that don't have the blinds, these smaller bottom ones. So we have this nice storage. Take a look in there. Awesome amount of storage. We have a fire hydrant right here by the door. It's ready for you if you ever need it. Hopefully not. Okay. We have this five inch thick cushion that then goes here and turns this area into a bed that easily sleeps full size adult. Okay. Underneath here. Oh, check this out as well. All nicely zippered. Clean. You can clean them. That can go there to turn your ottoman into additional couch area. Cool, huh? Okay. Now, underneath here, we have a 33 gallon freshwater tank. That's brand new. We have another storage compartment back here and another smaller storage compartment here. And inside of this compartment, you'll find your freshwater pump, which is by SureFlow and those controls as you'll need to access them. Okay. The flooring, we went with a, this is actual hardwood veneered flooring. So it's got real wood floors. It is a floating floor. It'll probably move around a little bit throughout its lifetime. That's fine. It's built right in. And then all this is nice solid Baltic birch plywood. And you have a gauge here with the light to tell you where your water's at. Now, the reason why the gauge is here is because when you're filling it from outside, standing right there, you can watch from outside where you're at as far as your water. So you can get the amount in there that you need. Up here, you'll also find we've got the original speaker covers, but all the way around, we have installed premium Alpine speakers. Here we have an antique wooden table that we've custom fit to this Airstream along with a very solid bench. You don't see benches too often in your Airstreams or RVs, but we just thought it was awesome because you can fit several people here. You can also sit here at the end. So if you're working, all that stuff, you got lots of seating options. Okay, under here you can see your two registers for your heat. And that goes directly off of your brand new Suburban NT30 furnace. And let's actually go right in here. So obviously this is our cabinetry custom to this Airstream and by custom was built in place, exactly matching the curvature of the walls, fixed to the floor, fixed to the wall, very secure. And it's made of a 13 ply Baltic birch, three quarter inch with hand carved crown molding and Corian countertops. Corian countertops all the way through. It's a real beautiful stone finish. Soft close hinges, a couple of nice 1967 books. We have our Dometic stove and a Vitra Frigo fridge freezer, along with full size drawers. This book with all your owner's manuals for all of your appliances and your backsplash tiles. We made ourselves out of clay, fired them, glazed them, all that specifically for this Airstream. And then we have our cooktop. That's gas. Here you can see we've got our Dometic AC unit. So we've got our triple layered, triple tinted sunroof by Maxim Skylights. And then you can see custom artwork. It's an oil painting I did in a nice bristle cone pine frame I made, so it's a couple thousand years old to match your bristle cone pine key fob and other bristle cone accents throughout. We actually hiked clear out in the desert and found this, this deadfall bristle cone pine to bring back and use in this Airstream. Coming along, we have two shelves. Obviously, we have big, big drawers with tons of space. You can put organizers, you can do whatever you got to do, but you got lots and lots of storage up in here. And then we have a quartz sink, full size sink, mind you, with the full size faucet. We've got this hanging basket. And then come in here, we continue with lots and lots of storage. There's a wheel arch under there, but we still were able to fit these drawers down here at the bottom. Then we have our Alpine stereo and a couple of CDs, playlists we've tailored for you just for this Airstream experience. Coming here, we have smoke detectors around 
And then we're gonna move to our bathroom here. We've got a secured pocket door. It's latchable from the inside. We have a full-size shower, with the mosaic tile shower bench. We went out in the desert and found those, all those different colors of slate and used them along with your teak, custom teak finish. And then we've got obviously our full-size shower head, curtain rod coming down here, nice matte black faucet with a made in Arizona ceramic sink top. There's your bristlecone pine eagle once again. Some storage in there beneath your sink. It's like a built-in adobe look with maple plywood. We have our nature's head composting toilet. Mirror. We actually have here, this is kind of neat. This was the original tag that would have been on this Airstream when it was sold. We found it in here as we were kind of gutting everything out. Nice cute little 12 volt lights up there. Okay, we'll move to the hallway now into our closet. Our closet kind of doubles as our control room. Inside the closet, sides obviously are hangers. We have, starting from the top and working to the bottom, we actually have a vent for the battery compartment area so the heat has somewhere to go if, if, if you're using it in the middle of summer. And then you have all of your controls for your appliances including your solar charge controller, water heater, Renogy, um, inverter, battery monitor, etc. We have another fire extinguisher. So from bed, you have one right close to you. This actually removes this panel here to give you access to your wiring coming into your breaker box fuse panel. Here are all your master switches, your master kills control switches. And we have our Dometic climate control, twin LED lights. Lots of storage in there, again, with the magnetic catch so this door will stay shut while you're moving. Then we come into our master bedroom with linen sheets, and this is an RV queen. It's the size of the mattress with shelves around the sides. Now this is an eight inch memory foam mattress by Brooklyn Mattress, made in Arizona. Another custom artwork by me. Got 12 volt outlets, and traditional outlets are there and around the base. Now this bed very easily pulls up. We also have of course, your Max Air Deluxe fans at the back and the front with remotes that you can control them, control your humidity in your bathroom, etc. This bed very easily pulls up with a gentle tug. And what that gives you here is lots of storage. You have storage here in the hallway. You have a gigantic storage compartment there. You can see your outlets over here. And then you have your propane gas alarm right near the floor back here. And this lid comes off to reveal your battery area. We have two lithium batteries by Renogy and room to easily place and connect two more. Right here, this is the middle of winter. We have a little heater keeping it at around 55 degrees. And of course, we've got our surge protector. We've got our transfer switch. We've got our converter charger. We got our pure sine wave inverter and the associated wiring. You can also see our Dometic Atwood six gallon water heater there with the valves to control it right there. Okay, pop this lid back on. Also in the side of the hallway right there is what we call our isolated electrical system that allows you to plug in just your typical extension cord for the purpose of things like running an electric heater or something through the winter when you don't want anything hooked up to your 50 amp service just for a real safety precaution or, or whatever you need you may have. So a couple other final little things I had wanted to touch on because they were so painstaking for us to do. Obviously the full Monty includes the new subfloor and our subfloor was polyurethane, two coats polyurethane excluding a, a little empty area on the bottom of each one so the wood over time can release any humidity it does get. But on top of that polyurethane, there are five coats of porch deck paint. Okay, so your subfloor is extremely waterproof from the top. Our flooring is also waterproof as advertised by the manufacturer. Then to complement our insulation, you can put the best insulation in the world in an Airstream, but as most people know, you still lose so much of your cold AC or your heat through the ribs because it's a aluminum on aluminum on aluminum contact. So what we actually did was put insulating foam tape with a layer of aluminum 
on each and every rib going all the way back, also on each rib beneath the subfloor. So we actually broke a lot of that heat transfer that this aluminum is allowing to flow to and from. And that actually made quite a bit of a difference. So that was just a, a couple more details worth mentioning along with obviously all of our lighting is 12 volt and LED. These are nice warm lighting. These are all 12 volt LED throughout the Airstream. And then all of our obvious wiring for our 110 service is all 310 copper. So extremely safe, extremely efficient. This thing will really sip the power, really conserve your energy.